Madam Speaker, I rise to ask question number 11 of 2015, which is addressed to the Honourable Minister for Education. Can the Minister please inform the House how many new primary and secondary school teachers have been or will be recruited by the Ministry of Education this year, and how will they be selected? Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Minister for Education. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to thank the Honourable Member, my colleague, for asking this question. <coughs> Madam Speaker, in the 2015 budget, the Ministry of Finance allocated $7 million to recruit new teachers for primary and secondary schools. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, we noted the number of teachers that, were, that graduated over the last uh, decade or so and were not able to get jobs in our education system. The numbers are as follows. We recruited a total of 653 new teachers this year. Of the 653 new teachers, 318 were for secondary schools and 335 were for primary schools. The teachers appointed were graduated in these years. One who were unemployed since 1993. One who was unemployed since 1997. One who was unemployed since 1998, Madam Speaker. Six who was unemployed since 2006. One who was unemployed since 2008. Three who was unemployed since 2009. 9 who was unemployed since 2010, 10 who was unemployed since 2011, 86 who was unemployed since 2012, 12 who was unemployed since 2013, 321 who graduated last year and were looking for a job, and 202 from this year's January graduation. Madam Speaker, this takes us to a total of 653 new teachers who were recruited into our education system. Again, 318 in the secondary schools and 335 uh, were distributed in our primary schools across Fiji. Madam Speaker, as I had mentioned to uh, the public earlier on, these teachers are entering into uh, the real life teaching for the first time. And therefore, they're taking it at ED9A level with a salary of $12,360. All these teachers are given three year renewable contract. However, their performance will be evaluated after term two. And following uh, good performance, they will be promoted to ED8A with a salary of $16,610 for next year. And in the following year, after two years of teaching, all graduates will be promoted to ED8G with a salary of 23000 Madam Speaker, given that we took all teachers up till 2014, all teachers who were teacher trained, who, were, who graduated and the qualification was recognized by the teacher registration board, were taken in whether they were from FNU or USP or Corpus Christi or Fulton. All of them were taken in. Taken in. Uh, uh, all those who graduated up, up till uh, 2014. This included 321. For the January lot, given that we only needed 202, we only had slot for 202, but the number of students who graduated was more than that, we recruited based on the best grades. Madam Speaker, what we want now is to have the best and brightest minds teaching our students. And therefore, instead of adopting any other variable, we looked at the grades. So based on the grade point average, GPA, these 202 teachers were selected out of over 400 who graduated on January 9th. So Madam Speaker, uh, these were the criteria based on which the this year's graduates were chosen out of over 400 who graduated. 
So again, uh, to the, uh, back to the answer, 653 new teachers were recruited into our education system this year, contrary to what was erroneously reported in one of the dailies uh, yesterday. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Minister of Education. Supplementary question? Hey, supplementary question. The Honorable Minister has said that uh, only the brightest will be recruited. Uh, what will happen to those who, don't, who do not meet the GPA or below the minimum standard set by the Ministry? Will they be recruited or will they be absorbed? Madam Speaker, those who are GPA is very low, those C graders, etc., they will have to upgrade themselves, go and um, take units. And, um, Madam Speaker, what it means is that if someone gets a C grade, that means that person does not have 50% of the knowledge. And Madam Speaker, it will be very difficult for that person to go and teach in the classroom when the person does not have 50% 50, 50 of the knowledge. So what we recommend is that all those who are GPAs are low should go back and upgrade themselves, get better grades, and therefore become eligible to compete with the brightest minds and get a slot uh, in the labor market. Thank you. Thank you. There being no other supplementary questions. Sorry, supplementary question. Supplementary question, Madam Speaker. Teaching is indeed a noble profession, and we are all the product of our teachers. And uh, I would ask the uh, minister, how can you uh, build up the confidence for the teachers that, uh, that uh, you have taken on board these new recruits, and most importantly, those who are being employed at the moment, as one has been highlighted in the media, TV, last night, who was employed, being paid an annual salary of 23000 and suddenly she was uh, being told that her remuneration is 12000 And you would imagine the commitment in uh, her life and uh, the repercussions of the decision that has been made. And also, most importantly, that uh, if you come around Marella House, you see teachers lining up, uh, being paid half salary from the second uh, the pay until now, the four pay, or uh, pay four, still not been paid because of the um, administrative of the TRB regulation that has been changed. And uh, how can they be able to provide for their families, having no pay for these last three pays that are due to them? And uh, I would ask the minister, how can you uh, be able to instill um, confidence in the teachers, especially that you are recruiting, that this type of administrative uh, blunder will not happen again? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. There were a couple of parts to uh, Honorable Member's question. The first part was the, the uh, he, Honorable Member referred to the person who went on TV last night saying she, her salary was reduced. That's incorrect. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, some of the media do run with this kind of erroneous data without uh, clarifying for this. She was a temporary teacher, relieving teacher, and therefore she did not have a, a three-year renewable contract. She's now fortunate to get a three-year renewable contract, number one. Number two, if we, if we would have gone by GPA and given everyone 23,000 salaries, uh, salary, we would have recruited about 300, not 653. She would have been the first one not to get into the system because her GPA was very low. I don't want to reveal the GPA here, but her GPA was very low. When I asked her for her GPA, there's a time she said, I'm satisfied with your response. And I'll speak up. The second part, the second part, the second part of Honourable Member's question was um, uh, about confidence in teachers given the pay is low. <coughs> Madam Speaker, 1993, this person was sitting at home earning zero dollars. She is now, or he, she has now got a renewable contract. 1997, the person was sitting at home. What were those governments, what were those governments doing at that time? 
1998, one person was sitting at home getting zero dollar. 2006, six people graduated from the university, six people graduated from the university with zero dollars. What were they doing? What were they doing? 653, Madam Speaker, house are now brightened because 653 households are now have some, having someone earning formal, uh, uh, got a formal job and earning a, a continued stream of income. The, the other part of the question honorable member had was about salary, delay, delay in salary payment. There was no delay, Madam Speaker. The first, the started on the 19th, Tuesday they started work, and Thursday the pay, pay, first pay run was. No employer in the world will pay you within two days. You, there are certain processes to be followed. The person has to go and report to the school. Then the school will write a report saying, yes, this person has reported. Now by second pay, which was last week, they were supposed to provide certain information, including, including their teacher registration number. All those teachers who did not provide full information, we could not enter the data. Despite that, despite that, Madam Speaker, despite that, despite that, we made manual checks for them on Thursday. Despite that, Madam Speaker, order. Despite that, Madam Speaker, on Thursday, on Friday and Saturday, manual checks were prepared for them to accommodate them. So, incorrect data should not be provided in this house, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much. Supplementary question. Does all this explanation mean that all those who graduated last year will be absorbed into the uh, into into work? Well, I, Clarify to me again, please. All those who graduated up till 31st December 2014, if the teacher trained, they have got the job. If not, for some reason, come to us. Thank you.